so as we know we have discussed about superposition so what i tell you about superposition so when two waves are moving in opposite direction this is your figure one okay, which contains only one wave figure two which contains only one wave but that is reflected wave third figure contains two waves one wave is progressive while the other one is reflective say this one is progressive and this one is reflected now when they come close together okay then at particular point see here they have amplitude a equal to zero that means they nullify each other's effect now after that particular point waves will travel further as they are moving so this is the actual meaning of superposition now let me tell you about the interference so what is interference so the phenomena of superposition of two wave is called interference there are two type of interference we have first one is constructive and the second one is destructive interference now let me tell you what is constructive interference and what is destructive interference okay so let me discuss about this constructive interference so when pressed off one view is superimposed on rest of the other view or drop off one wheel is superimposed on drop off another view then it is called constructive interference okay let me give you an example now let me give one example of particular phenomena see suppose this is your first wave this is your second wave now here as you can see amplitude of both waves different consider that amplitude of this particular wave is 3 cm and this particular is 5 cm now this wave has speed greater than this particular wave so now what happen at particular point
wave becomes weak. So here the amplitude of resultant wave A. It is A1 plus A2. That means 3 plus 5. That means 8 centimeter. So this is the actual constructive interference. Now, let me tell you about the destructive interference. Okay, so when crest of one wave is superimposed on trough of other view then such phenomena is called destructive interference Okay, constructive interference is happen because of addition of amplitude. Now, let me give you the brief idea for the destructive interference as well. Consider that this is the First wave, which is crest, and another one is trough. Both having different amplitude. Okay, consider that this particular wave has three centimeter. While this particular have minus five centimeter. So the when they combine, it produce resultant wave, and the amplitude of resultant wave A is equal to A one plus A two. But first is crest, hence it is positive, and second is trough, hence it is negative. So the answer is minus 2. So this is the actual meaning of destructive interference. Okay. Okay. Now. Let me tell you this also. Please be in your mind. Whether it is in your syllabus or not, it is important for you. All right? You know, we have a question like this. Obtain the equation of resultant displacement. of two progressive harmonic wave on stretched string 
All right. So okay. let me answer this. Consider that we have first uh, y of x t is equal to we have to find this because it is the resultant one y1 x t okay it is given as a sine k x minus omega t y2 it is given as x of t means the wave is depending on position in x direction as well as time here it is a sine kx minus omega t plus phi now so according to the superposition principle we have to add them so y1 xt plus y2 x of t that means a sine kx minus omega t plus a sin kx minus omega t plus phi. Now, here we have a as well as here also we have a. As you can see at the board place we have a. So, we can, you know, carry out a then another equation is written as sine kx minus omega t plus phi plus sine kx minus omega t. All right? Okay. Now, as we know, sine a plus sine b is equal to 2 sine a plus b divided by 2 cos a minus b divided by 2. So, according to this formula, we have equation like y of x t is equal to a sine sorry, 2 sine a x minus omega t plus phi plus kx minus omega t divided by 2. How this happened? So, I am considering this point as A and this point as B. So, as I told you, we have to add them first. So, A plus B by 2, all right. So, Kx minus omega t plus phi plus Kx minus omega t divided by 2. And cos Kx minus omega t plus phi. Now, subtract them. Minus Kx plus omega t divided by 2. So, we are getting okay, 2 carry out A sine. 2 times kx minus omega t plus phi divided by 2. Cos kx positive, kx negative, omega t positive, omega t negative get cancelled out. So, it becomes cos phi by 2. Okay. So, okay. You write it as 2a cos phi by 2 sin kx minus omega t plus phi divided by 2. This particular formula represents amplitude of resultant wave. Alright? Okay. Okay. Also, we can write this as a wave is progressive harmonic wave moving in 
positive x direction. Clear? Yes. Okay. It has. Same frequency as well as same wavelength. But phase is a difference is equal to five over two. So this is the method how you can calculate the constructive interference. All right. Okay. I hope you are getting. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> now. Now. As I told you, A of pi means amplitude. It is given by 2A cos pi upon 2. Okay. Consider that two waves having phase difference pi equal to 0. So our formula is y of xt equal to 2a cos pi by 2 sin kx minus omega t plus pi by 2. Putting pi equal to 0, we are getting cos 0 sin kx minus omega t plus 0 over 2. So we have 2a sin kx minus omega t. This is the equation of wave. Now, consider consider that both Waves are having pi equal to pi means phase difference equal to pi. So we can write it as y of xt equal to 2a cos pi divided by 2 sin kx minus omega t plus pi divided by 2. Okay, but value of cos pi by 2. 0. So, we are getting y of xt equal to 0. Is it okay to you? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay, now. Let me explain you about the reflection and refraction of waves. This is also not part of your syllabus, but if you are not understanding this in certain topics you are lagging behind all right okay you will lag, lag behind so this is the reason why i am going to explain you about reflection of wave okay so When a wave reaches to a boundary, and if the second medium and boundary. Is rigid. Do you know about rigid? Yeah. 
then this will be return back and it is called reflection of wave okay now <coughs> i hope you clear with this particular reflection of waves yes all right yes <coughs> 